Welcome everyone to our second guitar lesson. Before we go ahead with the lesson, I'd like to say a couple of things. I'm not quite sure where this is all going, but I enjoy doing it. But I'd like to get your input. So I'd like to grow this naturally and organically. And if you have any ideas or suggest suggestions, um, throw them over to me. Leave some comments or um, write me a, a message in, in one of my other profiles. If you like these videos. If you don't like the videos, go on and watch something else. Um, also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you always get notified when a new video is up. Now, what are we gonna do? Before we start with a new thing, let's do a little warm up together. Last week we learned about the uh, basics, the very basics. Um, the name of the guitar, uh, of the different guitar parts and about the guitar strings and we did some rhythm exercises. I hope you got on with that well. Let's do that together. I'm gonna play a rhythm and I'd like you to play it back. So the first one, simple one, another one. And now let's use the upstroke as well. Next thing for today, we um, learn a finger exercise. Learning an instrument or learning a guitar is like learning a language. So you learn about different letters, you learn about words, about how to make sentences. And today we're going to learn some letters. I'd like you to put your thumb on the D string. And remember last week we learned how to walk on, on, on the different strings. Let's walk a bit on the E string. Cool. And now we're gonna add the left hand. I'm gonna play to you and then I'm gonna break it down. So the exercise goes like this. That's it. On the left hand, a lot of people ask, how do you hold your left hand? The idea is, we have our thumb here on the back and we play with the tip of, for now we, let's just play with our index finger. And uh, be careful not to have your uh, hand like this or twist it like this. So it should be quite very loose and should feel very natural, so you shouldn't feel any tension at all. Which also brings me to the way how you should sit and hold the guitar. Let's try to keep a straight back and Basically, the, the, the most important thing is that you don't feel tension anywhere. If you feel cramped or um, just be as loose as possible. Loosen up, guys. And this exercise again, first with the open strings. So give that a go. And that's the first step. The next step is that we add the ring finger to it. So we play the first bit again. Cool. Um, and once we did this, let's also go down to the next string, which is the B string, very good. Same thing, just on the B string. Very good. And once we did this, um, let's try to also play a little melody, a little simple melody. We don't need to worry about the names of the notes, we're gonna learn that somewhere in the next videos. Um, 
I'm, I'm just gonna make up something which is similar to this one. It goes like this. Again, we start with the open E string, then we use our index finger on the 3rd fret and the ring finger on the 5th fret. Let's do the same thing on the B string. If you want to, you can also do it on the G string. That's it. So we have our finger exercise. Try to do that um, five minutes each day or longer if you want. And then also that melody. And just some something else. When you uh, learn a new uh, instrument and when you learn how to play the guitar, at the beginning it's always a bit hard and it's um, sometimes you think, okay, ah, I want this to go a bit faster, but it's quite important to do those initial steps properly and really think about so that we have a, a solid fundament. Fundament, is that a word? A solid... We're gonna lay out some solid groundwork. I hope that makes sense. And it's quite important to just stick with it and uh, it, it, will get, uh, it will help you a lot later on if you did this properly in the first place. I think that's it for now. Again, if you have any questions, any ideas, any suggestions, how I could make this different, uh, write me some comments or send me some messages. And, ah, a random fact. I'm gonna really out a random fact. Just because today's random fact is, um, uh, that's it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, here's a good one. Oh, this is bad. Mm -hmm. Here's a good one. There are more deer in Britain today than at any time since the last ice age. Crazy. I see you all next week. Goodbye.